Hey guys, welcome back. Well, this is something really, really special to me. I've got one of my greatest mates. I actually call him my brother and we have done so much fishing together and I'm so excited, Theo, to have you on the show. Because guys, this guy here actually taught me how to enjoy seafood. He keeps it simple, but tasty. Now, Theo, that's enough out of me, mate. Welcome. You, I am so pleased to have you on board. So, Thank Theo, you. this is all well, that's yours. That's a big intro, mate. I don't know if I can live up to the uh, <laughs> to the intro that you've given me, but um, but look, we're going to have a look at um, the old humble gar. Access from beaches, jetties, rocks. All you need is a little bit of burley, a tiny little hook under a float, and a tiny little bit of bit of bait. Bring the kids out, have a lot of fun. But how underrated is this fish? The old humble gar. Absolutely, mate. Any fish that you've told me is underrated and that I've thought's underrated after you've finished with it is magnificent, so I can't wait. But the gars, uh, the gars, Dean, a lot of people actually put them right up there with flathead tails and whiting. They are a beautiful fish to eat, fun to catch. Let's get into it. Clean some up and have a bit of a cook up. What do you reckon? Over to you, my friend. Awesome stuff. Over to you. Let's rock and roll. All right, All right here we go. First thing is obviously is cleaning them up. Very simple. Um, the scales really do come off fairly easily, so give them a hit. The good thing about cleaning a fish near water is that all your, all your stuff can go over the side. Let's have a look. Nice and clean. Next thing, a nice solid knife. Now what I do at the back of the, at the, back of the fin, head off. Now that is A, your burly, but it is one of the best snapper baits that you will ever come across. So you put that aside, wait for springtime. Now, run your knife up the middle of the gut line and all the way back to the anal opening. Just like so. Use your thumb. Scrape up all the muck on the inside. That can go over the side there. Now, this is where it comes down. What I do is I take my knife and I come to the back here, just where, the, uh, just where I finished my knife opening, and I cut the tail off. There's another gun bit of snapper bait. Now, there's not a lot of meat on that. The bigger guys, obviously, you will have a bit of meat, so I'll put that aside. I'll use that for snapper as well. Then, I turn the garfish this way with the stomach lining facing down and I apply a bit of pressure. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but you can hear all the rib cage bones breaking away from the center spine, just like so. I then take my knife, a nice sharp knife, I'll use a different one this time, and I'll run my knife either side of the center bone. Two incisions, trying obviously to follow that, that center, center spine all the way just to save as much meat as we can. Right, then thumb and forefinger, you hold that down and you start to peel away the middle rib cage, just like so. Have a look at that. Now we're not quite finished yet. This is where you need a super duper sharp knife. You scrape away all that black stuff because that is what brings a fair bit of bitterness to your fish, especially the way we're gonna cook it today. You don't want that on your, on your fish, so get rid of that. And super duper knife, if there's any bones left, what we wanna do is get in and just give it a nice little thin cut away just to get rid of them. just like so. There's a bit of mucking around, but the end result is well, well worth it. Trust me. That's one side. Run my hands along there, no bones. And the other side, just like so. Give it a wipe down or a wash. If you're gonna wash the fillet, 
have a bit of paper towel around and damp it off straight away, pat it dry. You don't want to be cooking the fish with water all over it. Destroys the flavour and it actually, it actually um, dehydrates your fish. So um, that is, oh, I should clean my hands actually. That is a beautiful piece of gar fillet, ready for the pan. Now we did say before that I use these as bait or burly and no doubt some of you out there might say there's no way I'm going to be doing that. I'm not throwing that piece away. I'll show you what else we can do with this humble little tail. We take the knife, razor sharp and we knock a little fillet off it. One, come here you. Two. And those tiny little fillets Pop them in some oil with a little bit of flour. Fantastic nuggets for the kids. Absolutely perfect. Right now the fun part. This is the most simple part of all. Our gars are all cleaned, lining out, rib cage out. Nice beautiful little fillets like so. They've been washed, they've been pat dried, and now we're preparing for the food. For cooking. Get a little butane going. Now the only thing is is that we probably will struggle with heat and heat is what we really need the most to get that nice brownness or colorization on each side of the fillet. It's not going to take us long to cook. Probably 30, 45 seconds each side as long as we've got enough heat and that's all we need. It is such a tender protein. Have a look at that. Beautiful. Boneless and everything. All right. We'll let that go. Once that goes a little bit, we'll get a bit of heat on it. We'll get a bit of olive oil on our pan. Just give that a chance to heat up. We are struggling with a bit of heat today, but anyway, we'll go for it. It's going to lay them skin side down because that's what I'm going to serve them up, skin side up. I certainly wouldn't want to be uh, cooking a, um, a tomahawk or a ribeye this way. It'd be here forever. Bit of salt, bit of pepper. Bit more olive oil on the top. You can actually see it changing colour here. It's going from that sort of see-through uh, sort of colour into into that um, into that whiteness that's cooking through. I, I can't get the desired colour. It's just sitting there, there's not enough heat, but it doesn't matter. I'm hungry and I'm going for it. Help if I had a little spatula, but anyway, the joys of cooking outside. up garfish. We couldn't keep the fillets even um, but we're going to go for it. We're hungry. We haven't got enough heat but we've already said that a million times. Dean why don't you come over here and have a taste of our broiled garfish and then I think we've got a special guest as well. We do. Um, he'll come later. You have a crack first and um, I'm going to have one of these. Leo. 
broiled or not broiled, they are amazing, mate. Yeah. You never ever fail to bring the best out. Honestly, you know guys. It's fresh. Oh, grab a little piece. Grab a piece yourself. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheers.